morning everybody this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project uh, we are I'm a little out of breath because I was running grab my camera we are harvesting and weeding in our garden look what we got tomatoes what's this Cucumbers, broccoli, hot chilies, onion, big onion, big long actually, it's getting wrinkled, but potatoes, potatoes, there's uh, carrots, down in here there's a mess of carrots, there's an onion, there's, what else do we got? Potatoes, oh yeah, the long, long onion, that came from a plant from Eldi which Melanie put in the ground and it's providing us with food potato, continuously potato. potatoes yes our uh, garden is starting to grow I am every morning we come out here and weed a little we also have bell peppers growing and uh, another chili plant coming up really good the cucumbers are starting to slow down and the tomatoes are starting to pick up so quite a mix going on Melanie's little garden is starting to produce there's our carrots they're clumped together but we harvest on the outside edge as they go bok choy in the back the broccoli right here she says that's how it's supposed to be and she, we're eating it kale which I forgot to mention was in our soup the other day and there's the onions look at that really nice onions this is a sweet potato look at that from that one we got in the mail that time that's a sweet potato that really turned out and we have okra which I've never ever even tried is actually growing we, whoops we really have okra growing I never never even tried it and she's got it succeeding there's another sweet potato there's um, Brussels sprouts and she's got, which one is the big one here? She's got, oh, I'll show you the lemongrass. There's some hidden over there, but there's another one. That's lemongrass from one that she's had for years. She just pulled a little bit out and put it in here, and it's bigger than the original. So we're learning what grows best where this year. And next year we'll have an even better garden because we experimented with such a wide variety of planting conditions and locations. What do you, oh, you got Michelle-sized tomatoes. Yeah. Look at that. And finally also our salad bed is growing finally it took a long time I honestly think it was too hot all summer and uh, nothing was growing now that it's cooling down everything is starting to grow these are trying to go to seed I don't know if we're ever gonna get food off them but they're trying to go to seed and then I planted some what's called corn salad and I think that's these little guys in here that are starting to very very slowly come up they're thick all through here I just spread a mess of seeds in here I think I don't ask know if them, that's one ask them what's this yeah I don't know what I was questioning. these came up in the uh, straw and I don't know what it is I pulled out a root and there's nothing useful to it it doesn't smell like anything edible it looks like a radish family of plant but there's no Actually, no, that one smells like a radish. I wonder if that's some kind of a deer feed radish. That one smells like a radish. I wonder if we've got radishes in here growing on their own. The one I pulled out earlier didn't smell like that. That one definitely smelled like radish. Well, we've got them growing around as well. And then I've got something else here. I don't know what that is or where that's coming from, but it looks like it could be a salad. Everything that grows in this little bed I wait and see because we had such a variety in here. But we're eating from it. There is a whole mess of kale. Michelle has a nice little bundle of kale. And I harvested the oregano heavily. And you'd never know it. Never can tell it, could tell it. And I harvested our peppermint. Oh, massive bundles. Pepper. That's more oregano, a different type. Yeah, huh? Look at that, Michelle. That's our food. So, 
we're looking better this year than ever before. I'm loving it here. And everything's flowering happily. It's coming near the end. Oh, there's another bundle. I think it's going to yeah. be more flower when we harvest, right? Yeah, they say when you harvest it, they I spread. Mean, oh, the kale? Yeah, it'll grow more. They're, they've been flowering for a while now. And then this is another type of uh, thyme. More. So we're looking good. I'm loving it here this year. Hey everybody, that is coming on fast and hard. I'm running, I'm out of breath because I want to get the tires on this uh, before the rain hits because I just borrowed a jack and uh, <laughs> I grabbed the wrong wrench. I can't find my breaker bar right now at this second because I'm in a hurry. When you're in a hurry and you're moving your shop from one place to another, you can't find everything real quick. So I'm going to try to get these tires on and hand tighten them and then uh, later I can torque them down when I find a breaker bar, rain or not. But I've only got a limited time to use this jack, so I've got to get them on there now. I can't see in there very well. Come on. Oh yeah. At least I can haul little stuff with this until I get the new rims. The problem is lining these up it is awkward. Experts are probably laughing at me or cringing horribly. I never dealt with a dual wheel system. Ah, come on. I get them on and then they fall right off again. trailer will be mobile for now. Move it around so I can work on it wherever I need it. I might... Well, I can get the breaker bar anytime and tighten these up, but I just gotta get them on with the jack 
So I'm going to return it. the right tool for the job good old antique I love my antique tools Second one goes easier, I hope. At least this way I can move it around the property. Awkward. I got it on there at least. The second one went easier. I'm stressed because the rain is coming. I just want to get this done fast. Alright, well actually, you can see what, uh, how my little fancy tool works here in a minute. This is great. quicker than a breaker bar to get them going. back to its owner. I'm going to tighten these up and we're done with this project. Got it before the rain. And just in time I hear thunder. It's coming. Well guys I started to work on this and um, what I'm doing and it, it's been raining today so I didn't uh, have the camera. Actually it filled up with water on me. Um, I'm taking the carburetor off and cleaning it and I don't know how, but water got in it. 
no idea. I've had it tarped and I've had the cap on and the thing tarped. I don't know, but anyway, it was full of water. So I, I'm taking apart and cleaning it, but I got interrupted and I, uh, I didn't share any information because I didn't want our, um, our uh, situation disrupted in any way. But people have noticed a certain yellow car at one point in one of my videos. And I didn't mention or answer the question because of, uh, well, the fact is that while I was working on this, getting it ready because it has a trailer hitch on it, which is great. And I have to move a lot of things around all the time. Somebody came and bought the silver car that we were driving all the time, the Buick. And it's gone. And this is what we've been driving. So I'm sure a lot of you that have been around a while understand why I didn't talk about it. Um, because we had the car for sale. And it's gone. See so the other cars for sale or was it was sold. And this is ours now. This is what we're driving. It's a uh, 2003 Pontiac Aztec. And um, it was dirt cheap. I mean, really, really, really cheap. And it's got some issues, which I'm working on. I, uh, <laughs> typical with the Aztec, the dash, none of the dash, hardly anything in the dash works. Um, you don't know how much gas is in it. The odometer doesn't work and the gas gauge doesn't work. So we just keep it filled. And... Um, other than that, it's okay. It's got a bad pulley, which I'm going to replace. I got a pulley already, a uh, tensioner pulley. I got one um, waiting to be put on, and I'll do that on probably on video one day here soon when I get to it. But other than that, it's serving us well. We've had it for a couple weeks. You guys saw it on video. And there it is. Now I can show you and tell you about it because the other car is gone. So um, it's... Uh, it works. We've had it down to mom and dad's and back. We've had it to uh, Traverse City and back. Had to pick up a friend one time over in Traverse City. That's a long ride if you know the area. And it works. It runs. So this is what we're using right now. For now. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I uh, it's dinner time. And I have been working. Well, we had that thunderstorm, which lasted for a couple hours and then uh, as soon as that cleared up 4 30 this afternoon I got out here and started working on the tractor and then uh, that guy showed up and got the car and uh, boy it was seven o'clock before he left it's going on eight now and I'm still putting things away and getting ready for dinner and she's got food on the table so that's it guys I hope to get this running again smoother it wasn't running perfect when I got it and uh, get a battery in it and run it around here because it has a snowblower. I'm going to sell all of our uh, snowblowers that we have around and just keep this. That's my goal anyway. Keep this one and run it so I have less machines. I hope to start reducing the amount of equipment we have uh, by getting universal, versatile things like this. And another reason I want to get it running right now is because it has a PTO drive. Is that a dual? That's a single belt drive. It's a single, but it's got a clutch. And uh, I want to see if this will run the bus saw. That will be cool. To have a tractor like this that can do multiple tasks. So snowblower, um, bus saw, hauling trailers, that's going to be the thing. But i got to get inside and get dinner. So that's it for today. Um, a lot of running around. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Working on our own machines saves a lot of money and a little step towards self-sufficiency. Talk to you all later.